Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the EX-230 UHD HDMI extension kit. This product provides an incredibly easy way for you to share any of your HDMI media content with a second location up to 130 feet away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or up to 230 feet away in full 1080p resolution over a single Cat5e or Cat6 cable. The product features local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here at the primary site while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to your remote location. The product also features infrared blasters that will collect the remote control signals from that secondary location and send those back over the same LAN cable to the primary location to be rebroadcast so you can actually control the content you're watching. And finally, the system employs the very latest in power over cable technology, so a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire product. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included, and then I'll take a closer look at the units themselves and explain exactly what they do and what connections you'll need to make. I'll list the features the product provides, and then I'll come back and actually do a demonstration here to show you just how simple it'll be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find a sender module, a receiver module, a set of brackets you can use to mount both of these modules up off the ground and out of the way. You'll find a connection block for RS-232. These units can actually transmit RS-232 signals across that same LAN cable. You'll find a set of infrared blasters, and you'll notice they're slightly different. This one has a larger head, and that goes on the receiver end. The smaller unit goes on the transmitter side. You'll find sticky pads you can use those to attach to your media equipment. There's a single power supply. It's a 24 volt DC power supply. This end can plug into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of either module because of the power over cable technology. And again, that's all the power you need to operate the entire system. Also included is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other details you'll need to understand in order to use the product properly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the components. I'll list the features and then we'll do the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find the sender module, the receiver module, a pair of brackets you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. You'll find a set of infrared blasters, one with a larger head that pairs with the receiver and one with a smaller head that pairs with the sender. And it's important you match these up for proper operation. You'll also find two sticky pads you can use to attach these to your media equipment. Also included with the kit is a set of RS-232 connection blocks for making connection to the device easy in case you want to transmit RS-232 signals between them. There's a single power supply. It's a 24 volt, one amp DC power supply. You'll plug this end into the wall. The other end has a barrel connection on it. And because this solution uses power over cable technology, you can plug this into the sender or the receiver and the power required for the other module will be sent across that LAN connection. Also included, is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that shows you connection diagrams, specifications, and other details you'll need to understand in order to use this product properly. Now we'll take a closer look at both of the modules. I have the sender module here and the receiver module here. Both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and help to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. Let's start with the sender module. On the front, on the left-hand side, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all of the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. And once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know the module's ready to use. On the right-hand side, you'll find a service port, and that's used for updating the modules later on if changes are made or enhancements are made to the product. And to accomplish that upgrade, you'll connect the micro USB cable here to your computer, push the firmware file over to complete that process. On either side of the module, you'll find ventilation slots as well as on the bottom, and those are designed to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also notice mounting holes on the bottom that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount these up off the ground and out of the way. On the rear of the units where you'll make most of your connections, on the left-hand side, you'll find a power port. You can use that with the included power supply. Now, what's important to remember is this uses power over cable technology, so you can plug that power supply into the transmitter module or the receiver module, and the power for the other module is sent across that LAN connection between them. To the right of the power port is the LAN port, and that's the connection between the two modules that you'll make with a CAT5e or CAT6 cable. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. Now, this solution provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here at the primary location while you're simultaneously sending it across that LAN cable to the remote location. And to accomplish that, you'll plug an HDMI cable in here to a local monitor to enjoy that content. 
To the right of that is the HDMI input port. That connects to whatever media device you'd like to share with that remote location. So it could be a DVD player or a game console. It's any standard HDMI media device, and you'll use a standard HDMI cable. To the right of that are two infrared blaster ports. They're three and a half millimeter ports. It's important when you're connecting those up that you use the smaller head unit with the sender and the larger head unit on the receiver end, and you'll plug that in here on the IR out. Here you'll plug it into the IR in, and I'll show you that in a minute. To the right of that is an RS-232 connection block. Again, if you want to send RS-232 control signals between the two, you can make the connection there. The receiver module is very similar. Again, a power indicator on the front, service port updates here, ventilation on both sides as well as the bottom, mounting holes for the brackets. On the rear, starting on the left, you've got a power port just like on the sender module. And again, you can choose either of these to plug in. To the right of that is the LAN port. That's where the other end of that cable plugs in. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. And that's where you'll connect whatever monitor you'd like to use at that remote location with a standard HDMI cable. You have the option, too, at that remote location to pass the audio from the media stream being sent there to an external amplifier or a sound bar. So you can plug in a 3.5 millimeter left and right stereo plug right there, connect it up to your sound bar to enjoy that higher quality audio. To the right of that is the infrared in and infrared out. I'd explained before about the infrared blasters. In this case, you're going to plug the larger unit into the infrared in, and that's going to collect the remote control signals to be sent to the transmitter that's connected on the sender end. And to the right of that is the RS-232 connection block. And again, the included plugs plug right in there to make connection easy. And that's pretty much it for the two modules. The O-Ray EX-230 UHD works with a wide range of media products, including streaming devices like Roku, game consoles, home surveillance systems, DVD players, and cable boxes. The product will fully extend ultra-high definition 4K content up to 130 feet away, and it can also extend 1080p content up to 230 feet away. It includes an IR blaster kit for remote control of your media. It offers a local loopback function so you can enjoy the content at the primary location while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the secondary location. And finally, the only connection needed between the sender and receiver modules is a single CAT5V or CAT6 cable. Now I'll show you how you can easily use the EX-230 UHD to extend any of your HDMI media content to a second location. Now for this demonstration, over here I've got a small media player that I've set up with a video that's currently looping on this monitor, and that's the media content that I'll transmit to the secondary location. Over here, I've set up a second monitor to represent your remote location somewhere in your home. It could be an upstairs bedroom or downstairs in your den. It's wherever you'd like to enjoy that content from the primary location. In front of me, I've got the sender module here and the receiver module here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the sender module, and I'll start by disconnecting the media from the actual monitor, standard HDMI cable here, and I'll plug that directly into the HDMI input port on the back of the unit. Now this particular product offers a local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content here as you're simultaneously broadcasting it to your remote location. And to do that, you simply need a second HDMI cable, and you'll connect that to the HDMI output port on the back of the sender module and plug it into your monitor. And the minute I add power, you'll see that video come right back up on the same monitor. Now I've already plugged the power supply in. I've got it right here. Simple barrel connection into the back of the sender module, and I'll tighten the collar so it doesn't pop out. Now the minute I add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test to check all the electronics to make sure they're working okay. It's checking the resolution of both the monitor and the media source to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Now I'll connect up the receiver module at the remote location. I've got a single HDMI cable between my monitor and the device. I'll plug that into the HDMI output port. Now the only thing we're missing at this point is the LAN connection between the two, and that has to be a CAT5E or CAT6 cable. Now you can use up to a 230 foot cable, but I've got a really short one right here, and I'll actually use this to connect the two together. So I'll plug it into the sender module first, and then you'll notice this has no power indicator on it right now. The minute I plug this cable in, because this is using power over cable technology, the power from this module will be transferred over this LAN cable to actually power the remote receiver. So I'll plug in the LAN cable. You'll see that indicator come on. And again, what it's doing is checking the resolution of the incoming media against the resolution of the monitor. It's going to make whatever adjustments are necessary. It's going to handshake with the primary module, and it'll present the video right over here. And it really is just that simple to extend that. And the best part is, the only connection you have to worry about between the primary and secondary locations is that single LAN cable. 
and you can connect it up in a few minutes and be transferring video anywhere in your home. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray EX-230 UHD HDMI extension kit helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second location, again, up to 130 feet away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution, or even further to 230 feet away in full 1080p resolution over a single Cat5 e or Cat6 cable. And the fact that the unit provides local loopback functionality at the primary site means you can still enjoy your content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote location. The inclusion of the infrared blaster kit gives you complete control over the content because it picks up the remote control signals at that remote location and transmits those back over the same LAN cable to the primary location where they're rebroadcast to control the media content. And finally, the inclusion of power over cable technology allows you to use a single power supply at the receiver end or the transmitter end and greatly simplifies your wiring. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit and with a few simple connections you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.